Which kicks do I like better, LeBron's or KD's? I'd have to say LeBron's just because it's in high top and they have a lot of crazy colorways that I like. Like the new, what the LeBron's that are coming out, that's just a crazy colorway. I'm really looking forward to picking those up. Out of LeBron and KD, I probably have to go with the KD's because uh, I think they're a little more comfortable than LeBron's. LeBron's are a little heavy and uh, the KD's are a little lighter and I feel like they just give me more agility on the court, you know, when I'm moving around, like my first step and my hops are really there with the KD's, so I have to go with the KD's. If I had one player in the NBA I could dunk over, I'd probably say Dwight, just because I always hear that we look just alike, so that'd probably be pretty dope to dunk over him. If I could dunk over one player in the NBA, well, if I could dunk over one player, it'd probably be like a former NBA player, like a legend, and I'd probably have to go with Sean Kemp, and I actually was blessed to do that this past summer. I jumped over him in a dunk contest, did between the legs, and uh, clean, didn't even touch him. There's a specific pair of kicks that I favor when dunking. Um, I probably have to say the Blake Griffins, the Superfly 2s. It's a really, really dope shoe. Uh, actually, the first time I actually ever put a pair on, I dunked in them. And usually, most shoes you have to break in. That was the first pair of shoe I ever could just put in and actually start playing in. My favorite pair of shoes to dunk in right now is the uh, 28s, the 28s by Jordan. And I like those because like what AirDog said, like first time I put them on, I felt like I was jumping really high and they were just comfortable and like they were already broken in. So I like those a lot. And uh, the flight plate, like I said too, is also a big help too. Like it makes me feel like I can jump all day in them, so. What it was like to dunk at the Staples Center. Um, to be honest, I was just excited to even be there. And you know, it was cool because I, I had met them, him in the dunk contest and we actually got to go in together. So. That was a pretty dope experience and it was a packed house. It was the Clippers versus the uh, San Antonio Spurs. And on the shoes I wore, I don't really remember. If I had to put a guess on it, I'm putting, I'm thinking that they were the uh, Kobe's. Crazy eights, I think that's what they were, the crazy eight Kobe's. When I got the dunk at halftime of the Clippers, that was like, you know, the first step in my uh, dunk career, I think. And it was like something I had waited for because I was always in high school. I was always trying to make the team and do different stuff like that. So I wasn't really in too many dunk contests. I got to meet Air Dog. It was cool. Like there was two winners. Like they let us both go in at halftime and we had to go head to head. So that was cool. And uh, we got tickets to the game. So that really motivated me for everything else afterwards. And the shoes I wore, uh, I don't really quite remember. I'm sure they were some type of Nikes. I think they were, might have been the Hiraches or something like that. Doing a Jordan commercial at a young age like that, it was, uh, was kind of like a tough decision because I also wanted to play college ball, but at the same time, I knew that uh, I had a gift and I also wanted to use that, so I just tried to focus on that with the commercials and the dunk contests, and uh, the Jordan commercial was definitely a motivation because he was one of my favorite athletes growing up, and uh, that made the decision a lot easier, the fact that it was a Jordan commercial. Working with Kevin Durant and Jermaine O'Neal, uh, well, first, Jermaine O'Neal was actually the first commercial I ever worked on. So that one was exciting just in that in itself. And Jermaine O'Neal was a super humble guy. I remember he that was when he played for the Pacers, but he was real humble. I remember on set, they actually ordered the wrong size of shoes for me to dunk in the commercial. And I actually wore the same size as Jermaine O'Neal. So he gave me his own personal shoes to dunk in. And then after the commercial, I went to give him back. He was just like, no, nah, I'll keep them. You know, those are for you. So that was really a dope experience. And then also working with Kevin Durant was, uh, was really cool because um, you know, I got a chance to catch a lob from him, and that was epic for me because, you know, I wanted to show him how high I could jump and things like that. So I never, I never throw away shoes when I, after I dunk in them after a while. What I, what I normally do is I'll, I'll clean them and I'll put them up just for sentimental value, because every, every shoe I have holds a special place for me, whether it's a memory of a dunk contest or going overseas or meeting a, a NBA player that, or something like that. So I never throw away shoes at all. I always keep them on. When I'm done with my shoes, after dunking a lot in them, I usually don't throw them away. I usually keep them too. And uh, some of the things I do with them are, you know, I keep them like as collector's items too for sentimental values and as memories. Sometimes I like to give them to my fans, you know, because uh, they definitely appreciate it. And like at dunk contests, sometimes I get asked to give, you know, shoes or my jersey and stuff like that. And I always love to do that type of stuff so they can have it too as a memory and as, you know, something to look back at.